Now I'm going to show you how to bind your Nexus XR um, to your transmitter. So I've got my transmitter switched on, it's on the right model, T-Rex 700X. I've got my uh, Nexus XR there. But you can bind any receiver um, in exactly the same way. So a couple of things I'm going to do. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my MDL. I'm going to go to internal RF. And as you can see here, my receiver is on zero. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on there and I'm going to scroll through. Um, so yeah, we're on zero, which is the same as test. I then have it on one is um, ID one is used by the T-Rex 550. ID two is used by TV 40. So I'm going to select ID three, which is unique. So that's the very first thing I'm going to do. If I go back in, I just want to check that the status, the Hertz 333 is the same because sometimes it's changed before and I don't know why it does that, but it hasn't done it in this case, so that's fine. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a receiver ID, which I've put number three in there. Then I'm going to click on the Sys button and I'm going to click on Express LRS. And I'm going to scroll down to Bind. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch or plug in my battery to the to power the uh, Nexus unit. Um, and please, when you do that, make sure that the blades. So I've got no blades on here, and I've also got no tail blades. So there's there's no blades at all. So if anything happens, if the engine spools up or anything, um, you're not going to kill yourself. So please, please, please make sure that you do that. And before you bind anything, make sure that while you're doing the setup, the blades are not on, um, and the tail blades are not on. Okay, so all we're gonna do is we're gonna plug this in and then the minute I plug this in, I'm gonna hit bind as fast as I can and then that should bind. Okay, so it's all bound, so I can now control it from my, let's see, it's bound, I've got control. Obviously it's not set up, so things are all you know reversed and things are not working correctly, but it's now bound. It's literally as simple as Plug it in and hit the, the bind switch in there and it's bound and it's that easy. Um, one thing to say, sometimes it doesn't bind the first time. So if it doesn't bind the first time, don't panic. Try a couple more times and generally within two, three times it will bind. So that's how easy it is. So hopefully you've now learned how to bind. Okay, thank you.